in this priority scheduling. Uh, as you know that uh, in uh, normal real life, what happens when there is a queue, suppose you are going to buy some ticket of a railway, and then uh, you are in a queue, a long queue was there, but uh, any old age person comes uh, whenever, then what will happen that he will give it, given the priority and he will get the ticket first because uh, he is old age person. So priority is given to that old age person. So priority is everywhere. Similarly, we are having a priority scheduling in CPU also that if one process is executing and then uh, another process arrive which is having higher priority, then uh, that higher priority process will give the chance to execute in the CPU. Uh, just have an, another example of real world. Uh, suppose you are sitting with your friends in your drawing room uh, for a chit chat, but uh, suddenly your uh, big brother come with their friends, then what will happen that uh, you have to leave the room for your brother because he is having the higher priority is your uh, elder brother, right? And suppose and after you are waiting that you will come to drawing room once your elder brother leave the room, then suddenly what happened that your father comes with your with their friends in the drawing room, then still you are waiting, right? So this is what happened in the priority scheduling that whenever a high priority process comes for execution, it will give in the higher priority for scheduling. So let's see how it works. Uh, uh, let, let me know that uh, have we seen this type of priority somewhere? till now some kind of priority scheduling uh, did we see some kind of priority scheduling uh, how many cp scheduling algorithm we have learned till now F first come first serve then round robin then shortage of first in which we are having preemptive and non-preemptive right so in shortage of first what was happening that whenever a short process is arriving then what is happening short rest remaining time first very good aparna that where what we are doing that we are taking the shortest job first uh, which is which will take less time for execution so we are picking that shortest job first so this is kind of a priority scheduling that we are giving the priority to that process which is having the shortest worst time so let's see how it works here uh, a priority number that is an integer is associated with each process which uh, denotes its priority and then the CPU is allocated to the process with the highest priority uh, as per convention that the smallest integer will uh, represent the highest priority but uh, uh, you will get some like a uh, largest integer will get highest priority in some questions so it depends upon the question nature that uh, which type of question you are getting so but as if nothing is mentioned then you will assume that the smallest integer is highest priority so the cpu is allocated to the process with the highest priority it is of also two type preemptive and non-preemptive preemptive you know that uh, if any uh, suppose a uh, high high priority process is executing in the CPU, but suddenly a more high priority process comes in for execution and that has to be preempted and that high priority process will go to the CPU. But in non-preemptive, what will happen? Firstly, you have chosen a highest priority process and it will be executed uh, till it finished its execution. So it cannot be preempted. Shortage of first is a priority scheduling where priority is the predicted by next CPU worst time and what will be the problem here? The problem I told you, this is the starvation. So low priority process may never execute because you are waiting outside your drawing room that your, your turn will come to sit with your friends in the drawing room. But it, uh, firstly, your big brother was there, then your father was there, then your mother was there. And uh, it was endless that you are waiting for the resource, but you are not getting. So this problem is called starvation. Uh, can we have any solution of this type of problem? Like uh, what is the answer to this problem of starvation? Can you think of any solution? Yes, can we have any answer for this starvation problem? Uh, how to solve this low priority process thing? Sir, increase kar sakte hai, priority ko waiting process ko means uh, 
वन से फिफ्टीन मिनट के बीच इंक्रीज करते रहेंगे ओके ग्रेजुअली वी विल इंक्रीज द प्रियोरिटी ऑफ दैट प्रोसेस सपोज दैट यू आर वेटिंग आउटसाइड योर ड्राइंग रूम सो बट ग्रेजुअली वी विल इंक्रीज योर प्रियोरिटी टू यू विल गेट द रिसोर्स सो दिस सोल्यूशन इज कॉल्ड एजिंग सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस स्टारवेशन इज कॉल्ड एजिंग Yeah, as time progress, increase the priority of the process. So after a threshold, suppose um, this uh, high priority process is executing in the CPU, and you that low priority process is here. So gradually, suppose it is having a uh, ten, and uh, this is having five. Five for priority integer priority process is getting executed, and low priority process. Suppose ten is here. How to reach to this threshold? So after a time, we will uh, increase its priority by nine, then eight, then seven, then six, then five. Then after some time, it will go to four. Now that process which is having the priority of five will be uh, lesser than priority of this low priority process which is now of at priority four. So this solution is called aging. In this manner, we will uh, solve the problem of starvation. So let's have a numerical on this. How to solve? Uh, we are having some five processes. They all are arrive at time zero. P1 is having a bus time of 10, P2 1, P3 2, P4 1 and P5. is having the bus time of 5 now uh, what is the priority is given here uh, p13 p21 p34 p45 and p5 is 2 now we don't have to bother about bus time here because it this is not a shortest job first this is priority scheduling so we have to look at this column of priority and here in this question let's see what is uh, Return the convention. If there is a convention that a low integer will be presented as a high priority process, then we will go for that. Otherwise, uh, we will do as written in the question. So, what is written? Suppose that the process arrive in the order P1, P2, P3, P4, and P5. Then we have to find these things. Now, there is nothing mentioned that a low priority, low integer value is uh, having the high priority, or the high integer value is having the high priority. Then we will go for convention. What it is that low integer value of a priority will represent the highest priority. So. Uh, as you have seen that arrival time is zero now what is the priority highest priority process is p2 because this is having the lowest integer value of priority so firstly we will pick p2 and then p5 and then p1 and then p3 and then p4 so uh, can you solve this question i am giving you 2 minutes to draw the gantt chart for this uh, start Uh, designing the gantt chart uh, you have to just look at this priority column that which process is having the highest priority as you can see here p2 is having the highest priority once you are done with the gantt chart please write in the chat box yes done i am giving you 2 minutes to draw this gantt chart everyone is having pen and paper so let's start you just have to look at first at the priority column that which process is having the highest priority and then look at the bus time how much time you have to given in the gantt chart for designing and then go for the next high priority process that is p5 then allocate five bus time then go for the next that is p1 give it to 10 bus time then go for p4 give it to one bus time then go for in the last Uh, sorry p uh, p3 was up at four priority and p5 p4 was at the priority five so draw the gantt chart once you are done let me know uh have you draw the gantt chart please let me know yes or no uh firoz has written done ananya yes two more answers then we will go for asutosh yes shreyas yes okay shweta good uh, okay now cross check with my answer that if you draw the right gantt chart so let's move on to the next slide as you can see here that high priority was at p2 so firstly we have picked the p2 now what is the bus time of p2 this is one only so 0 to 1 p2 will get the cpu then which is the next priority was p5 p5 is uh, required five bus time so 1 plus 5 that is 6 so we are here now what is next process is p1 it required 10 bus time so 6 plus 10 16 we are here and then next is 
P3 required two bus time, 16 plus two, that is 18. And then in the last, we are having P4, which required only one bus time. So 18 plus one, nine. Okay, so now go for the waiting time. Uh, please uh, write the waiting time for P1. What is the P1 time? What is the waiting time for P1? Please write in the chat box. Waiting time for P1. Uh, waiting time for P1. P1, waiting time for P1 is 16. Six, six unit times. So yes, Priyam, Rohit, okay, others, no issue. Aparna, six. Very good, six unit time because uh, what happened here, that arrival time is given here as zero. And when it gets the first uh, CPU at six unit time. So how to write six minus arrival time at six unit time it get the cpu at zero it was arrived so six minus zero the answer is six what about p2 what about p2 zero very good uh, p2 you have uh, given it at first so p what is the arrival time of p2 is zero unit time very good go for next p3 go for p3 p3 very good 16 unit time 16 at 16 it got the cpu it arrives at zero so 16 minus zero it is 16 now go for next p4 very good asatosh 18 abhishek priyam krishnam very good 18 uh, chitranshu you have written six uh, ramuddin uh, you have written 16 uh, p for p4 it is 18 beta okay cool now in the last one p5 last one p5 very good one unit time so go for the average waiting time that is 6 plus 0 plus 16 plus 18 plus 1 and divided by number of processes are how much 1 2 3 4 5 so you will divide by number of process that is 5 so 41 divided by 5 8.2 unit time very good Asutosh, Aparna, Shweta, Priyam, Suryansh, Siddharth, Aditi very good so we are done with waiting time right uh, no problem with this priority scheduling that firstly how to get the wedding time and average wedding time. Yes, Ashutosh, we are uh, going for turnaround time. So let's see. Uh, turnaround time for P1 is what? Uh, turnaround time for P1. What is the finish time of P1? Completion time of P1 is 16. And what is the arrival time of P1? That was 0. So 16 minus 0. We are having 16, right? Now go for P2. P2 is here. Completion time is 1. Arrival time is 0. So 1 minus 0, 1. Now here is P3. P3 is here. Uh, 18 is the completion time. And arrival time is 0. So 18 minus 0, we are having 18, right? Now here is P4. P4 is here. Uh, 19 is the completion time. And arrival time is here, 0. Very good, Aparna. So 19 minus 0, it is 19. Now here is P5, P5 is here, completion time is 6 and arrival time is 0. Very good Aparna Siddharth, so Aparna has written 6, Shweta 6. Very good, so what is the turnaround time for P5? It is 6. Now go for average 16 plus 1 plus 18 plus 19 plus 6, that is 12 unit time. Very good Siddharth. Very good. Asutosh has directly written 12 unit time. So you have to specify that you are talking about average turnaround time. So are we good with this priority scheduling? Average waiting time, average turnaround time, yes or no? And do you need any uh, repetition of this process? Please write, yes, easy, yeah, very good. And nothing have to, we have to look at others because we have to just look at this priority column and then go for the worst time, okay? So cool, so now we are having our next question on this. I will give you two minutes to solve this question and I need the complete answer for next question. That is in one shot, you have to write the complete answer. That is waiting time for P1, P2, whatever the process are there in that question and what is the average waiting time. Then what are the turnaround time for individual process and the average turnaround time. So this is your next question. I am giving you two minutes to solve this question, okay?
Now here we are having four processes, P1, P2, P3, and P4. Their arrival time is zero. Burst time of P1 is six, P2 is three, P3 is eight, P4 is two. Now here priority is given as P4 is having the highest priority because in question, uh, nothing has mentioned that which integer value is representing which type of priority. Then we will go for convention that is low integer value of priority will represent a highest priority process. So one is given to P4, that is P4 is having the highest priority. Then two is given to P1, that is P1 is having the priority after P4, then P3 and then P2. And here is your worst time. So I need at least uh, five answers, then uh, we will discuss its answer. Take your time. Today we will discuss only this priority scheduling. And uh, in next class, we will discuss uh, some more remaining topics of first unit. Come on. Anyone? And uh, one more thing, you have to give the correct answer. I don't need a fast answer. So marks are our only for correct answer. So take your time. Properly draw the Gantt chart and then calculate the uh, Ananya has written something. Average waiting time is 6.5 unit. Uh, I need complete answer beta. That uh, firstly, you, in one shot, you have to write that P1 waiting time this much, P2 this, P3 this, P4 this, and then average waiting time is this. And then turnaround time for P1, P2, P3, P4 is this, and then complete average turnaround time is this. So take your time, there is no hurry. I'm again telling you, jaldi answer dene ke marks nahi hote hai. Correct answer dene ke marks hote hai as per description given in the question. So take your time. We are not in a hurry. Uh, Priyam Mehta, give your answer in one shot. You can put comma there and can write in one shot so that I cannot uh, go for incomplete uh, uh, chat, okay? So take your time, write your complete answer. Krishna has written P1 2 unit, P2 16 unit, P3 8 unit, P4 0 unit. Uh, uh, take your time, write your complete answer. No need of hurry. No need of hurry. Okay, Krishna, average waiting time. Now go for turnaround time in one shot. Again, as the uh, better write in one shot. Take your time, no hurry. P1, two unit. Okay. Krishna, Priyam, Aditi. What about others? Ananya also is working on it. What about others? Are you working on it? Or just waiting for others answer? Take your time. Come on. Two sixteen eight zero, uh, and what it is? Is it a uh, average waiting time, average turnaround time, uh, and what is the unit of this? Uh, okay, others has written his answer. P one two, P two sixteen, P three eight, P four zero. Average waiting time is six point five. Turnaround time for P one is eight, P two nineteen. Uh, okay, okay. Rasutosh has written. Upon uh, average waiting time, average turnaround time. Okay, so we have got a number of answers. So let's start. Uh, cross check your answer with me so that let's see how you are solving this question. Firoz, okay, P12 unit, P216, P38, P40, average waiting time is 6.5. And very good. Chitranshu is also having average waiting time of 6.5. And for turnaround time, it is 3.5 for. Chitranshu and 11.25 for Aparna. Okay, so there is some difference in the turnaround time. And uh, we are having 11.25 from the Rohit also. So how 13.5 arrives for Chitranshu, we will see. Okay, okay, very good Priyam. Priyam is also is having answer. He is saying 11.25 rows. Okay, so let's start. Uh, let me check that how you are proceeding to solve this question. Uh, okay. 
uh, we are having some more answers. Ananya has written 11.25 and then Krishnam, okay. So now be with me. So let's see how to solve this type of question. A one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So uh, P4 is having highest priority, right? So we have first picked the P4. Uh, okay, Chitranshu. No issue, 11.25. So now um, come along with me. So I am solving this question. So just look at how you are proceeding to solve this question and uh, compare your answer with my answer so that we can have, we all are have on the same page. Okay, so P4 is having the highest priority, right? So firstly, we have picked the P2. So P4 and arrival time is zero for all. So no issue from the arrival time side. So P4 is zero, right? And uh, what is the bus time for P4 is two. So after two, uh, P4 will finish the execution. Now, which is the next priority? We are having P1. So we have picked P1, right? And what is the bus time of P1? Okay, so Ryan has come up with the answer. P1, two, P2, 16, P3, eight, P4, zero, average waiting time, 6.5. And then 8, 19, 16 to 11.25. Very good, Suryansh. Now let me check if your answer is correct or not. So P1 is having the worst time of 6, right? So 2 plus 6, that is 8. So after 8 unit time, P1 has done. Now, which is the next? We are having on this three priority process, that is P3. So next process will go for CPU is P3. And what is the worst time for P3 is 8. So eight plus eight is 16, right? Now, what is the next process? This is P2. And what is the bus time for P2 is three. So 16 plus three, we are having 19. So are we good with this Gantt chart? Everyone is having the same Gantt chart? Yes or no? Is it similar? Is it similar to your Gantt yeah. chart? Okay, very good. So, yeah, so half battle won. If your Gantt chart is correct, so your answer will also be correct. So half battle won, let's go for average, uh, firstly waiting time. Uh, waiting time for P1, uh, where is, P, uh, I have, what was this one? P2, I guess, okay. So average waiting time for P1 is two. And then P2 is what, where is P2? My P2 is here and at 16 you have given. And then P3, P3 is here. We are having eight and then we are having P4. Where is P4? P4 is here, waiting time is zero. Now let me check with some answer that if we are having um, waiting time, P1, two unit, very good, Ananya. And then P2, we are having 16, very good. And then P3, we are having eight. And the P4, very good, like correctly answered. Now go for average waiting time. Average waiting time is equal to what? Two plus 16 and then plus eight, and then plus zero divided by number of process, that is four. So what will be the answer? Two plus 16 plus eight, that is 26, I guess, right? Am I right? 26, so what will be the answer? Hmm? 26 by four, what will be? 6.5. 6.5 unit time. 6.5 unit time. So let me check with answers. Uh, where, very good. Suryansh, 2, 16, 8, 0. And the average waiting time is 6.5 unit time. So we are good with average waiting time. Now let's calculate the... Uh, uh, let me... Now let's calculate the... Everest turn, uh, firstly go for turnaround time. Turnaround time for P1 is what? P1 is here. P1 has finished execution at eight and it arrives at zero. So eight minus zero, we are having eight, right? And then for P2, what happened? P2 finished execution at 19. It arrives at zero. So the answer is 19. And then for P3, it finished execution at 16 and it arrives at zero. So the answer is 16. And uh, next one is P4. P4 finished execution at two and arrives at zero. So the answer is two. 
now the average turnaround time is 8 plus uh, we are having 19 then uh, 16 and then 2 and uh, you, uh, how it is 0 it was 8 right and divide by number of process that is 4 so let me check uh, with Suryansh answer p1 turnaround time is 8 unit p2 19 and p3 16 and p4 2 very good so what will be the total of this 8 plus 19 plus 16 plus 2 come on tell me 45 45. 45 45 very good divide by number of process that is 4 so what will be the answer 11.25 unit time so are we good with this right easy peasy priority scheduling right so uh, all are having the confidence how to how to solve this type of questions yes or no yes sir okay so we are done with today's class uh, we will discuss some more concept in next class i will upload today's class lecture note in your google